obviously I've been a sort of very outspoken advocate, if that's the word for 30 years, you know, about mm. depression, and I'm always very glad to have the opportunity to talk about it. And I feel that Blue Monday itself um, sort of trivialises serious clinical depression because it's kind of saying that depression is about feeling low because you've got debts after Christmas and because the weather's rubbish. All of those things can make you feel really peed off yeah. and fed up. But being fed up is not being depressed. Yeah. And um, being unhappy is not being depressed. Getting better from depression means the colour comes back in your life and you have the ability to feel unhappy or happy. But then doesn't the word blue suggest that? Because you kind of go, oh, I feel a bit blue today. Yeah, I don't but feel I think... like I'm trivialising mental health by saying and that. Because well, I... we can have blue days. I can't certainly we? don't think that you 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 oh. are, and I, I know that you're not, and I understand that completely. Mm. But there's lots of headlines I, I yeah. see around it's this. It's Blue Monday. It's, yeah. blue, it's, mm. blue, it, it, it's blue Monday. But you know, got to remember that. Okay, there was some scientific research, but really, this was formed by a holiday company to, yeah. get, to encourage people to go away in the summer. Yeah. So the fact that it, they've sort of made a day about it. Yeah. Um, you know that because there are things like you know the weather does affect seasonal effect. Yeah. Disorder and all of these serious kind of con uh, conditions. So I just feel that having something called Blue Monday is uh, just tri trivialises it because people who are really clinically depressed are clinically depressed even when their their life but should I be happy. Think, it's not I related don't think it's to. They're not. I don't think it is trivialising it to a point of where you're not accepting that there are people out there who have serious clinical depression and mental health But problems. I read a thing... Because we can all have... Like, I can have a day where I go, I feel a bit down today. Yeah, and so do I, I when I'm depressed. I don't feel like depressed. I shouldn't be allowed to no, say that. No, but I that. saw an article today about Blue Monday saying this is the day that more people will rush to, for happy pills to the doctor. Mm. And again, antidepressants are a wonderful way of helping people see the light at the end of the tunnel if they are correctly um, I, prescribed. I mean, I have and an happy issue... happy pills, it's not about making you happy, it's about making you normal and being... being yeah, I, I, I have an issue with Blue Monday because ultimately it is a commercial concept. Mm. And, and, you know, so just looking through my emails here, so everybody's like, you're, you're saying, they're saying, oh, well, it's such a bad day because, you know, you're all in debt and you're feeling a bit depressed. So what do they do to cure that debt? They're saying, spend with us. So it's like feeling blue... 22% off just for you. This one, this doesn't have to be a bloom. I mean, I have got re pages yeah. and pages of emails from people trying to sell me things off the back. I guess it kind of stems from my protector, sort of, it, it's the fact that, you know, people say, oh, I had po severe postnatal depression. When they describe it, they had the baby blues. Again, that's a horrible thing to have. You feel emotional in turmoil. And mm. I'm not trying to own the illness. Yeah. It's just that I, I think I've spent so many years with people having the stigma, the taboo, and trivialising it, yeah. and seeing the extent that it can ruin lives, and seeing meeting people who tragically can't deal with it. And, and yeah. I I totally totally agree. Agree. But I know you I don't totally want to drive agree. it And I think with Beverly, yeah. Beverly's comments Do about... I don't, want, don't want to drive I think it Beverly's saying that, 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 that it could become like a Gucci handbag because so many people are saying... By, they're excusing bad behaviour yes, by saying, exactly I've got mental saying. illness. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm bipolar. But, you know, when, when they're clearly not. But I think that by... We still have waited so many years to become open and talk out about this condition that... If a few people are misusing it, then let, yeah. them, let them fill their boots because, really, we don't want to close down this conversation. I think it's, like, like everything, it's about balance. And yeah. I think that, that the majority of people who genuinely suffer from the illnesses that you've mentioned there actually keep quiet about mm. it. They don't speak. And it's not necessarily because of... of it, well, it can be shame, it can be embarrassment. But that's why it we try be... to have a voice for the it, it is, but also, they're also frightened, and I know this from my own experience, that you don't want to be seen to be jumping on a bandwagon or, oh, you're just another one of those celebrities who's mm. throwing that word around. I don't care about that, you see. I'm happy for people to say I'm jumping on a bandwagon because I just think it's important because so many people don't talk out yeah. and that's when we've yeah, got but the my tragic friend headlines. Who has, my friend suffers really bad I know. Um, depression. And she's the nicest, kindest, funniest woman. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I have, uh, I've, uh, you know, that I know. But when she has her, she, I always know. Oh, she's having her depression. She moments. can't talk. 
No, it's not she doesn't talk. She she just goes, I'm going to go, I'm going to stay at home now for a couple of days. Mm. I need to just be at home. I don't want, she doesn't want to talk. Mm. She gets really annoyed at people that use, like you said, bad behaviour and go, it's because I've got mental illness because mm. she's people never bad behaviour. People use age and mental illness as an excuse for yeah. bad behaviour yeah. when people say, oh, she's and I so rude, that's but, more she's, insulting. but she's 75 or she's yeah. 80. Yeah. It doesn't make any difference what yeah. age you are. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. so annoys me about things. Yeah. It doesn't make any difference. We should let her get away with it because unless, she's 80 or 90. Unless, like, I'm not of course, there's horrible. a dementia oh, yeah. thing of behind. Course. You know, there's a, you of never course. know. It's like when but I'm people saying talk about badly... But I'm not when there's a real mental illness. No, but it's like when people talk about badly behaved children in a restaurant or whatever. You don't know whether that child's autistic or has an yeah. issue. You know, other... It's a, it's a minefield. It is.